Okay, the sequence is given and then it's an arithmetic, arithmetic, or if they don't want to call it arithmetic, they will call it linear. It's either it's an arithmetic or it's going to be a linear pattern. And then they say, determine the end term of the sequence. Okay? Determine the end term of the sequence. How many, like they want to ask to determine the general term of the sequence. So 2.1.1, how would you do it, Mashka? So you are going to say eight minus six, okay? And then if you say eight minus six, it gives us what? It says two. And then you say 10 minus, it gives us two. Okay, sure. You're going to say four plus two x. Four plus two x, like this. How do you get this one? Yeah, okay. The first thing that we want is the difference, okay? And then if difference here to here, it's D. D is given by D is given by term number two minus term number one, okay? And then our term number two here is eight, okay? And then our term number one is going to be minus what? Minus six, which is going to give us what? Two. Yeah, we always subtract it's term number one, it's term number two. We don't have term number one minus term number two. We have term number two minus term number one, okay? Term number two minus term number one, okay? And then you get your D. After that, you can use the following formula. It says TN is going to be A plus N minus one multiplied by D, where A represents the first term. What is the first term here? The first term is six, okay? Mm. Come and put six plus N minus one. And then we know what is our difference. Again, we got it again. Yes. What is our difference? It's two. Ne? And then this thing here is going to be given as six plus. You remove the bracket by saying this one multiplied by this one, it gives us two n. Again. And then we say this one multiplied by this one, it gives us what? Minus two. The like terms here. What are the like terms? It's six and minus two again. And then it says which two n is going to be equal to plus four. Plus four. Four. Yeah, which is what Masha gave us, right? mm -hmm. and then we are going to get our two marks later. Okay. Um, the next thing that they ask us is to say how many terms are there in the sequence? Okay, how many terms are there in the sequence? So we have the last term. They gave us the last term. Yes. What is the last term here? One sixty-four. One sixty-four. It means which we know what is this thing here. Tn is one hundred and sixty-four. So we'll come and say one hundred and sixty-four is going to be equal to two n minus four. And then you take this one to its other side, okay? Mm -hmm. It says that you're going to have 168, okay? Plus four. Yeah, plus four. And then if you take it to that other side, it says that you're going to have 116. Yeah. And then you're going to have 160, which is going to be equal to 2n. And then Masha is saying which we should divide by two, we should divide by two. It says n is going to be equal to 18. 18 eh? yes. Meaning which there are 80 terms here. So we say t number eight is equal to 100 and what then? Now, usually what they will give to learners here, let's put it here. Let's say 2.1.3. They will say to learners that your mind, uh, they might say something like this, that your mind, the 24th term. You'll see it by 24th. You see this 24th again. If you had the third, if you see fourth, something like that, okay? it means what they gave you N. Once you see, like you'll see an abbreviation, they own term. Then that, it means what they gave us the position. If they say that you mind the 24th term, what do I mean by that? I mean, which everywhere you see N, you're going to put what? 24. 24. Let's put it here. So we have 2.1.3. We'll have T24. Which, and then we'll come and have two multiplied by, instead of N here, what am I going to put? 24 and then that's four. And then if you type this in your calculator, what are you going to have? Two multiplied by 24. Close bracket plus four. Gives us what 52. Yeah, these are the questions that we can expect. These are the three questions that we can expect. 